Hello, everyone. Welcome to following SPD Laser. In the previous two episodes, we introduced the precautions for laser tube mounting and daily operation. Today, we will share the tips for laser cooling. Firstly, the coolant must be soft water, such as distilled water or purified water, and it is necessary to pay attention to the cooling water temperature regularly. Generally, the cooling temperature should be within the range of 15 degrees to 25 degrees, not too high or too low, especially in summer. Once the water temperature is found to be too high, the cooling water should be replaced immediately or you can stop the machine for a while. In addition, it is also necessary to consider the environmental factors in the actual processing. The difference between the ambient temperature and the cooling water should not be more than 5 degrees. Otherwise, it will cause condensation on the laser tube and water pipe, which may lead to high voltage ignition. In cold areas, it should be ensured that cooling water does not freeze, especially after the laser is shut down. The cooling water should not be stored in the laser tube to prevent the cooling water from freezing and causing explosion. The flow of cooling water shall be guaranteed at 2 liters to 4 liters per minute. The points to mount laser tube shall be the spotting point marked on the laser tube. Otherwise, the laser beam quality will be poor. The power will also drop, which affects the engraving and cutting speed in the end. The chiller must be grounded if your machine is running with AC power. The replacement frequency of cooling water is different in summer and winter. In hot and humid weather, the cooling water produces more microorganisms and bacteria grows fast, which will accelerate the deterioration of the cooling water and produce viscous substances so as to easily block the water cooling circuit of the laser tube and damage it. It is recommended to replace the cooling water at least once a month and clean the inside of the chiller and cooling water pipes. In cold winter, the cooling water does not have to be replaced so frequently. You can do it every two months or longer time as long as it is clean. We will talk about the relationship between power and current in next episode. Please remember to leave your comments and follow us.